Neither the flames nor their depths could claim me. How's it going, everyone? I'm Slope on Radio. Setting another video. This time, this is my game to get 1,000 LP on the North American server. Currently sitting at about 980. So, if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you want to see next, subscribe, and uh, yeah, we're playing against uh, Dr. Mundo. This is my first time ever playing against a uh, Dr. Mundo as Gangplank, but uh, yeah. Here we are. Death spit me out. Pretty sure you leashed. Jesus, dude, what a taunt. What a taunt that is, actually. If I go for Cheater, I can, um, get a Sheen. <gasps> no, I can't now. No I just spun D-Blade then. Since he has Ghost and not Flash, I can probably just get from a double passive resets on this guy. What the hell is that? Did this Q just go AoE? Is that a passive of an ability? Or is that the ability? Mercy sight with my it almost looks like an auto reset, honestly. Maybe I should wait until I have Sheen before recalling. In fact, maybe I should wait. mean nothing. Flash carries weight. Oh, no. Maybe I want Sheen and Tear actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Either Sheen Tear or Sheen D Blade. Kill those two. We get first blood, but they also get kills in return. In fact, they have four people there. You haven't seen blood yet. Yeah, they actually have four people there. Christ. I won't recall yet. I really want tier. Tier or D blade, one of those two. It's hard to contest the crowd with their support there. 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and we got it. I'll let him crush it. Oh, he hasn't recalled yet. He freaking hurts a ton though. I rarely forget and never forgive. Then could be topside right now.
Beautiful, I get to reset now. Better drag out the wave. In fact, I should have done that. That way, I could either burn TP or force a freeze. So, both are victories for me. That guy's just gonna heal up, he's gonna press W. Ooh, nice! My ult made a huge difference there, they were fighting in it the whole time. It's a big feels good man. I don't know why Mundo didn't TP though that entire time. He had it up, I know he did. Just building raw HP? Why? Hit war mugs or something? You know, historically, Old Mundo has had really good base damage versus GP, but literally it's just a matter of getting your passive resets. And he was kind of like butter. I wonder if that's the case this time. Should be, right? I'm for sure gonna go Hearth 1 Axe. I'm gonna go Triforce. Triforce is definitely the best option. Oh, that sucks. Probably gonna go Triforce, Chempunk, and then after Chempunk, I'll go... I'll go Muramana. I don't think I need Shield Break this. I'm revealing now because I knew he was going to shove because he thought I- he assumed that I would recall. Dude, his Q, I feel like it's longer range than it was before. Maybe I'm tripping. Oh my gosh! D dude, like, give this guy a vac ban or something. So I need Hearthbone Axe, and I need Executioners. So that's 200, that's 600 plus 1100, which is 1500. I need 1500 gold and then I can recall comfortably. So probably on my next teleport. Yeah, 1,500. Mundo still doesn't use this TP, I believe, so my TP has lots of value. I don't think he should be hard shoving as he is now. I think he should be letting the wave go even, forcing me to walk up. The only reason I see him doing this is because he might dive me. I mean, I should have TP up by the next wave, right? Watch in case. Will Mundo TP? I see Will. Since Mundo's TPing there, I guess I'll take advantage of this opportunity. And just take everything they ever owned top lane. Since I have enough for my Triforce, I'm just gonna go TP top lane. No, let's take another plate. Uh oh, that guy's dead. Oh no, he's not, so let's use Q. Ooh, but I think he flashed there.
Oh, yeah, great, just take this. Honestly, God, I probably could have worn them better, but it's fine. We're gonna lose first power. So, like I said, it's gonna be Kempunk into. Hmm. Kempunk into Muramana for sure, dude. For sure. I mean, he's just gonna hard shove. I don't need a freeze versus him. Our jungler is gonna outscale them super hard, especially with Lulu. Hang them from the slaughter. Right now, we don't have GPR. We have to be careful. GPR is very strong in these fights, so we can't undermine them, can't undermine them, or else we're gonna end up stuck. So we're just gonna play like good little kittens and be all smart. Mon and I are going back and forth right now, I'm 10 CS per minute, I am absolutely chilling top lane. Full camp punk is how much? 2600 minus 210? 2400, so 735 away. I've still got a ways to go, but we're getting there. Hmm. I'll leave him alone for now. I kind of don't want to mess with him. That could have potentially been a kill, but... I kind of don't want to mess with him because I saw the W bar. I'm like, all right, what the hell does that do? Is he going to regen all that? Or is all of that going to be damage? So I'm going to just back out for now, straight up. I mean, I already have my tier. I technically could just buy a full more mana, but I'd rather buy item that means something right now that's Kempunk right now wait for next wave and then I'll crush he recalled for warmogs I believe I'm just the tiniest bit worried of this champion dude just got reworked so he's either very broken or very weak kind of don't want to find out if I'm being honest Sitting on so much gold right now. We got both kills though, which is very nice. I'll back up right now. Never mind. Uh, they're Dr. Mundo shows. My Lulu's is getting Chemtech Putrefire, but it's fine. I'm fine with building it myself. Because it will be very necessary in this 1v1. And it'll proc off of my Muramana on the first barrage since it will apply the 80 damage on my ultimate. I actually agree. I think we do win the 5v5 extremely hard. Alright, yeah, I hard win. That's all of his damage is that W right there. Oh, I'm chilling. A slow death will be their reward. Is on it for sure. From the ward that I just spotted. Just gonna back up a little bit. I'm gonna get level 13 off of the next wave. A little bit anticlimactic in this lane, but I'd rather play it safe for the first time around and then a hard experiment the second time once I have more info.
gonna start walking right now. Honestly, I'm just gonna TP actually. Because I want to clear this spot wave out as well to make sure they could, they can't flank us. Cut off one flank angle and we're chilling. Don't to me. No, no, no. Guys, pull. I stole my ulti available. Nice, we're ultra farming now. I've got to be careful for them potentially baroning. Ezreal just got caught. They're running towards mid. I mean, we're chilling. Jinx healed, right? I got the three-man barrel! Come on. Uh, I hope we don't get aced. Maybe we're okay? Uh, we griefed that really hard. They can't Baron, but we we really hard griefed that fight. I'm on my way. Thank God I swiped him. What happened here? How did our team die? I mean, not bad. They can't bear it now. The game is still winnable for both sides right now. Akram should be enhanced because of the Lulu, and if our Ezreal doesn't grief a one fight, we can probably win. I can ult mid. Bad. I kind of hard smurfed that fight with my barrels. 
And I ended up one parting that thrush over the wall. Really nice. Damn, we were so close. We trolled it pretty hard though, we probably shouldn't have done that. Because they had TPs. Yeah, we still have souls, so it's winnable. I probably should have spam pinged it off, honestly. I don't think that's game losing, but it's still pretty bad for us. The fact that Ezreal can win that 1v1 is very nice. Soul is really good too because we're all healing. Very nice. Elder will be the win condition. I will have Zonio, and I will have Last Whisper. Yeah, all we gotta do is take their bot side vision and we're chilling. I don't think Silas wins 1v1 versus me. Yeah, I'm gonna group here. I mean, we just wait out for Elder. Alright, we can go mid now. We should be able to end since it's just Dr. Mundo. That was a very clean fight. Ocean Soul was so disgusting in it. We can end. Yeah, we can end. Game. And that's it boys. I know I wasn't as commentative as much in this game, 
But this game I was so ultra focused because this is the goal that I've been re trying to reach for so long. And then this is the this is the peak of all that. Season 10 or season 9, I reached a peak of 813 LP. And I didn't beat that peak in season 10, but here we are season 11. And we beat that with a fucking peak of 1003 LP. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. Please comment down below what you want to see next. Subscribe, click the bell notification so you guys know when I go live. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.